make a new composition. Let's rename it Airplane Flying. Import the airplane.png into the timeline. Now we can move the airplane freely as we want. Create a new adjustment layer. Now I want to place the smoke behind the aeroplane. To do that, go to effects and type particle playground. Drag this effect and drop on the adjustment layer. Let's first trim our work area to 30 seconds. Now you can see the red particles are being emitted from the tube. We can turn these particles into smoke. To do that, increase the particle radius up to 6. Now the particles are thicker and stronger. Select the rotation tool and rotate the particles adjacent to the airplane. Change the particles behind the airplane. Now go to effects. Blur and Sharpen, select Gaussian Blur. Increase the blur size to 61 as long as the blur results look good. The smoke is looking pretty incredible. Let's change the color of the smoke to white. It would be great if the color is a bit darker. Click OK. The smoke animation is looking very cool. Let's decrease the size of the smoke to make it more realistic. Select both of the layers and press P on your keyboard. Let's animate the airplane on the screen. Enable the stop watches for both layers. Drag the pointer towards the end of the timeline. Actually, let's place the pointer at 20 seconds for faster animation. Drag the airplane and smoke images upwards. Let's decrease the workflow size to 20 seconds approximately. Perfect. The animation is working very beautifully. Select both layers and press S on your keyboard. Enable the scale stopwatch. Drag the pointer towards the end of the timeline. Decrease the size of the images. And the animation is a bit slower. Let's drag the markers backwards. Turn on the transparent background. The animation is really smooth. Now, create a new composition. Rename the composition as Moving Clouds. Import the clouds layer into the timeline. Animating the clouds is pretty easy. It just takes a minute. Go to effects and type displacement map. Drag the effect and drop it on the clouds layer. Change the horizontal and vertical displacement to luminance. Adjust the max horizontal displacement to observe the movement in the picture. See the difference on the image as I adjust the displacement. Enable the stopwatch and drag the pointer to the end of the video. Increase the max horizontal displacement. Scale up the image so that the size of the images are not visible. Let's play the timeline and now we can see that the clouds are moving very smoothly. Bring the marker backwards for faster animation. Drag the composition 1 into the timeline. Place the composition layer above the clouds layer. The airplane is moving with the clouds very nicely. Select the airplane flying layer and press S on the keyboard. Move the pointer a little bit forward and enable the stopwatch. Decrease the size of the airplane. Move the pointer towards the beginning of the timeline and increase the size of the airplane. 
Now we can see that the airplane is cutting just right here. To improve this error, let's replace the marker a little bit forward and let's play the timeline. Now the airplane is disappearing in the clouds, which is pretty cool. The airplane is looking pure white and it does not really match with the clouds. So let's import the hue effect over the plane. Adjust the master saturation and lightness of the airplane. Adjust the master hue as desired. Duplicate the cloud layer and place the layer above the airplane. Go to the masking tool and select Eclipse. Draw the Eclipse mask over the clouds layer. Go to mask 1 and select subtract. Adjust the sharpness of the mask by going to mask 1 and adjust the feather. Draw mask 2 and adjust the feather as well. Now pre-compose all of these three layers and rename the composition as plane under clouds. Enable the scale of the layer as well as its position. Drag the pointer to the beginning of the timeline. It is time to import some white smoke that covers the airplane and looks more realistic. Resize the smoke image. Reduce the opacity of the smoke. Enable the position and scale stopwatches for the smoke. Adjust the size of the smoke and we are done. I hope you like my vlog. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you.